let him do it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday afternoon, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody that's watching this. Um, we're here in the afternoon, it is very rare for us to do this, um, but uh, the mommy here got off at work at one o'clock, so that's why we're here. One of the main reasons we were here, you guys already saw, we went and saw Bauer and Rosari and Caleb Blood got everything autographed. We even got that autographed, the fire and ice trucks that we had. So that was pretty cool of them. Really, really nice people uh, to meet. Awesome. Wonderful, wonderful setup here. Uh, it is kind of sprinkling, but rides are running, which is good. Um, that's a very good thing. We were kind of wondering how the day was going to go. We mainly came out for them, but now that we're here, we're going to go around the park and just see what else is going on. Watch it, buddy! Oh, that was cool. You know the fans are going to love that one. Dude, that was cool! So to tell you guys how slow it is right now with the rain and everything that moved through earlier today and whatnot, Millennium Force is 15 minutes right now. That U ride usually max, minimal, is an hour. Right now it's 15 minutes. That kind of tells you the day we have in the park right now. It's just pretty cool. It may be a little wet, it may be a little sprinkly, but let's go take a look at Forbidden Frontier. True and Stay runs literally every day from May 25th through September 1st and 2nd. So it's pretty cool. And as you can see there, it's today from 11 to 7, so right now it's actually going on. Um, if there's a little mist on the camera, we apologize. But we're coming up on the station, the Crystal Rock Bridge one that leads to the Bouncy Bridge that leads over to the island. So there's really three ways across this. You either have the Wanderer's Way, which is down that way. You have the Crystal Rock Rafts, where you have to pull yourself across. Or you have the Boogie Bridge that's over there. Evan, of course, wants to do the raft. <laughs> so we were going to do that, but there's a little line. And if we're bouncing a little bit, I'm sorry, but we decided to take the Boogie Bridge over. And that really will, uh, you'll have some fun with that. As, take a look at this. It's out of the clouds and coming down. All right, now that we're on the other side of the long bridge across, and you can see where we came in at, back over there, there's where you would come across at. 
And now, we're gonna start heading this way. This way? And just see. That boogie bridge kind of screws with your legs. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, gi it gives you a little bit of rubber leg. So, we got two paths. Which way are we going? Uh, All righty. So, to let you guys know, too, this part here, this is the old Shoot the Rapids track that they shut down and turned this whole area into. And we just got buzzed by a coaster. But apparently, going the way we were going, yeah, that's the end of Wanderer's Way. So we gotta go back to... Here she comes! <laughs> so yeah. So the way that we went is the end of Wanderer's Way that brings you to where we were when we first got here. So, that way is where we gotta go. Looks like you got some cool look odds. Because it is kind of wet today, that's the reason why some of this stuff you're not going to see too much of. But that's a cool little fort there. Let's take a walk down this way and see what's down this way. Oh, you guys want to see a cool reveal? Look at this. Get around the corner and take a look at how huge this tree house is. This treehouse, playhouse, play, holy smokes. This thing is massive. Like, the camera is not doing this thing justice, how big this is. Yeah. Just outside of it, looks like you got some restrooms. Oh, the water station. That are out here. And, how about that? An actual water station for you to fill up bottles and whatnot. They at least got four bathrooms there. When it's drier, this is gonna be my home right here. <laughs> yeah, those are the hammocks that they've been talking about. But look at the absolute size of this thing. It is massive. So we came into the middle of it. One, because it was a little drier in here and two, just to see the sheer size as you see the kids up here getting set to go across. But yeah, inside of this doesn't even show how massive it is. Like right now I am standing right in the middle of this thing. And this thing is enormous. So far, one of the things I like about this area right now is the fact that Millennium Force loops Buzzes. all through this thing. Yeah. And you can get some great up close shots. It is <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Are you close to the entry? Nice, neat little tunnel you could cut through to the other side. I think we stumbled into Universal. Because <laughs> there's donkeys. And there's clothes biters, I mean goats. Cut on through. Now come back. Come back. <laughs> you have emus and you have barrel mews. <laughs> oh, you're just out in the open today, aren't you? Are you gonna run over here? So right as you walk in to it, as we're walking out, there's an outpost here that sells some stuff. Let's go take a look inside and see what we got. So in here, they've got some old sets. Some log cabin sets, metal kazoos, Compass microscopes. Whistle. The old fashioned pop gun. There you go. That actually fits you. That looks cool. I like that. 
How much is that? Um, can't. Can't. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Thirty-four ninety-nine for that. Then you got those. The I will say that is a very cool T-shirt. I really like the look of that T-shirt. I like to look at that one as well. They've also got bandanas that you can pick up in different ones. They got some coasters that are $12.99 at a cork. They got koozies as well. Those are $5.99. So pretty cool. Yeah, these are. Even got. Hang on. They've also got some tumblers that are $12.99. Well, just regular drink cups, but still. $12.99 in those. Oh! $4.99 in shotguns. Or shotguns? <laughs> Shot glasses. Those aren't bad. Ah! Those bad boys. These are $8.99. Those are $8.99. So. You gonna pop every one of them? Yes! Give him a chance. Edward. He's gonna test them all out. All right, so leather bands, and they're very cool looking. There, you can tell they're handmade, and whatnot. You can get them engraved with anything you would like. And they're nine ninety nine. They got a bunch of different colors too. Yeah, there's pink, there's white. Here, a lot of multicolor. There was some USA ones. Uh, that was the other one over next to us here. And then you got your keychain. Porsche, kind of cool. old school black and, and brown. Love those. Yeah. Kind of so we're gonna take a walk through here to the Cedar Creek store. Uh, there's two different sides, and I think we were walked in on the one side, but we're gonna see what's all in here. They got the Frontier Festival merchandise out of the gate, so you can get like the event tee. For $12.99, you can get a pin added to it for $14.99, which is that right there. That's what that pin looks like there. So that's actually kind of cool. What is that? A ornament. Oh, it's an ornament. Yep. So that's pretty cool. How much was that? No Didn't price really on say, it, did it? Yeah. Oh, there's also. Oh, they got a different one too. Yep. And that was pretty cool. They got, a can, they got a candle that looks like a, a smaller version, tumblers, flowers, and a giant roll of Smarties. Holy smokes! I used to have one of these. What happened to it? No idea. But if you want to play gigantic checkers, you can do so. And so when you come next door, spirit jerseys. You got spirit jerseys, which. You were wondering when they were going to get going. Those are 60 bucks. That doesn't surprise me. Look what I found! That is cool. Uh, yeah, necklace. crystals. How much is it? Uh, $9.99. That's not too bad. That Cedar Point shirt is epic. I really, really like that one. Great version of it. Please. $24.99 for these shirts. $24.99 for the shirts? It's actually not a bad price. That really, really is not a bad price. There's a good hoodie. That feels pretty soft, too. I bet. And, uh, how much do we got for this one? $39.99. That's actually not bad. That's not bad of a price at all for those. They've got pretty much a bunch of different colors. So there's red, there's purple, teal. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Life behind bars. I bet you this one's $24.99 too? Yes, it is. $24.99 for that shirt. That's pretty and cool. There's a cup. And then you got uh, 10 bucks. That's not bad at all. They got Steins. actual mugs. A steady shelf, $10.99. Shot glass, five bucks. That's cool. Oh, this tumbler looks pretty cool. Steel Vengeance one, how much is that one? 
we this got? is $14.99. $14.99, that's not bad. I like the look of this one. That one's pretty cool. It's top part, thrill one. That's part of their $10.99. Um, this is $4.99. Yeah. Okay, so we are back home. It is actually the next day. A uh, very interesting thing happened to us on the way home. Our alternator went out in our van. Uh, thankfully, we weren't more than minutes from the house, uh, but we did have a friend of ours come out. She gave us enough of a jump that we were able to make it back to the homestead, which is very cool. The car is actually going in tomorrow morning to get fixed, so uh, thankfully that will be back up and running uh, very shortly. As for yesterday, um, it was weird to be in a park where it was a light rain slash mist and the rides were still going. Uh, Forbidden Frontier we're going to go back and do again uh, when it's not raining because there's a lot of fun stuff to do in there. But the cool thing is I really like how the Millennium Force is woven in there. I mean, I know we didn't really get a chance to go see the dinosaur portion of it to see how well it was, but the Forbidden Frontier thing, it seems a lot closer than what it was with the dinosaur attraction. So it's very cool if you want some good up-close uh, pictures and whatnot of Millennium Force because that's what we got. We showed you that in the video. What's up? So our... Racing channel's almost up. Yep, yep, we're almost uh, finished with the next video on that. Uh, we still got a little bit of uh, stuff we got to do with that. Uh, that is on our Havoc 2K17 racing channel. Uh, so we do have two. We're still working on the other one. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're back to the park, I believe, in two weeks. So we'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye.